trước và không phải là chính sách của chính phủ Hoa Kỳ để cố gắng thay đổi thế trẻ uh, của Việt Nam. Uh, in fact, I will elaborate a little bit on Chiang An. Um, the, if we are to make progress in developing our partnership in a way that will influence the way Vietnam approaches human rights, labor rights, and other issues, I believe the only way we can make progress is that we continue to indicate that we respect that Vietnam has a different system of government from ours. If, the, if it seems to the Vietnamese leadership that our policy is to try to change their government, we will not be able to have cooperation uh, between our two countries. We will not have a productive partnership between our two countries if we cannot show respect for a system that is different from ours. That is hard for some people to hear, but I have to, I have to be very honest with you. That is my, my belief, that the only way we can make progress is we continue to show respect for a system, political system, that is different from ours. Now, you asked about Chinese influence. Anh Hương của Trung Quốc. Và tôi muốn, tôi muốn giải thích có một poll. What is the, uh, I don't know the word for poll. A poll, internal poll. Thống kê, thống kê. Thống kê. Thống kê, thống kê. Thống kê, thống kê. Và 92 phần trăm của nhân dân Việt Nam rất ủng hộ một đối tác chắc chê hơn với Hoa Kỳ. Khoảng thăm phần trăm ủng hộ một quan hệ chắc chê hơn với Trung Quốc. Và nhà lãnh đạo, nhưng tất cả nhà lãnh đạo của Việt Nam biết đó là sự thật. So they know, they know that the people of Vietnam support, and this, this poll is very interesting. It interviewed people in Miền Bắc, Miền Nam, Miền Trung, uh, different ages, and it was always around 91, 93%, uh, between 91 and 93% of the people of Vietnam want a closer relationship with the United States. They want, uh, they are counting, they're insisting that their government develop a closer relationship with the United States. This poll was taken after the oil rig incident last May. And when Vietnamese are asked, what country do you think is most important for Vietnam? A huge number say United States. Half that many say Japan. Half of that many say Russia. And a very small percent say China. And it's the same with young people and old. I thought there might be a difference based on age, that more older people would support China, more younger people would support the United States, but that is not the case. Young people, old people, northerners, southerners, they all want a closer relationship with the United States. And the leaders at the top cannot ignore that fact. So it, it is my belief, and here I speak personally, it is my belief that Vietnam is trying to decide what kind of country it wants to be. And the people and the leaders of Vietnam don't want to be exactly like China. They look at China and they see less political openness. They see greater repression in recent years. And they don't want that. Now, will, will that mean there will be steady progress towards more openness? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think the people of Vietnam want to be just like their northern neighbor.